in probably what was the best single week for the Trump administration throughout 2017. This week, they got both tax reform and a continuing resolution that keeps the government going for at least another month. The tax reform package was so important, not only politically because it was a big first major legislative victory for the Trump administration. They've had some others, by the way, that haven't been all that well reported by the media, but this was the first major item. The first significant tax reform in three decades, dating back to the Reagan administration. And you know, it used to be that tax cutting was a bipartisan effort. When John Kennedy cut taxes, it was a huge bipartisan vote. Ditto with Ronald Reagan, where only a handful of Democrats voted against the Reagan tax cuts, including many, many liberal and in some cases, far liberal Democratic senators who supported the Reagan tax cuts. But unfortunately, in the highly politicized world in which we live, there wasn't a single Democratic vote for the tax cuts that passed this week. That's a problem as we look at the future and something that really needs to be dealt with, getting back to bipartisanship on that issue. You know, Nancy Pelosi went so far as to say this was Armageddon. Can you imagine that, the end of the world over a tax plan? Seriously, I mean, this is the little boy that cried wolf on steroids. But look at what Armageddon actually looks like. You know, the markets are going up and up and up and up to record heights and beyond. And the day after the tax plan passed, major corporations were saying they were going to give four-figure bonuses to hundreds of thousands of employees. That's over and above the tax cuts that they're going to be getting, which will not only stimulate the economy in ways we hope we haven't seen before because unfortunately we got too used to anemic growth under the Obama administration, never hitting 3%, the last year 1.5%, but already we're at 3% and growing and this gives the opportunity to really kick in the tremendous economic growth that will totally, completely, and unequivocally lift and rise all boats. The continuing resolution, obviously a help to the Trump administration when the Democrats were sh uh, threatening to shut down the federal government, isn't gonna happen until at least the middle of January, which takes us into 2018. Donald Trump's political fortunes have been, well, not necessarily on the uptick until just recently. His poll numbers are down, but with the economy shifting into high gear, there's a real opportunity politically for the Republicans in 2018, particularly on the Senate side. We've talked about that numerous times where of the 33 seats that are up, 25 have to be defended by Democrats, 10 of which are in states won by Donald Trump and five won by him by more than 20 points. And additionally, look at foreign policy now. Was Nikki Haley a superstar at the UN this week where once again, the United Nations says, Israel and the United States are bad and terrorists are good. It just doesn't make any sense at all, but she stood firm, she stood tall, and in my judgment, she put herself in a real strong position to be at the poll the next time a Republican contest for the nomination to be uh, the party standard bearer for president comes into play. This week, we also noted some sad things. The passing of Dick Enberg, one of sports casting's great legends. When he and Al McGuire and Billy Packer used to do NCAA basketball, it was as much fun to watch as anything could possibly be. And how about Powerball? On the eve of Christmas Eve, there will be a $300 million plus Powerball jackpot. I might just buy a ticket. I don't worry about it when it's you know 40 or 50 million. What would I do with that? But 300 million, that's worth playing on. But in all seriousness, it's Christmas, the most holy season of the year for those of us of the Christian faith. And you can give us a little Christmas present by liking, sharing, or taking to your neighbors the best 60 seconds and our website, charliegerode.com. We'd really appreciate that. But to all of you, a truly blessed, wonderful, peaceful, and relaxed Christmas. And to those who don't celebrate all the good things of this season to you and to all, peace on earth. And that's the best 60-ish, maybe four or five minutes of your week. Thanks so much.